Hi, good morning everybody. My name is Jason Bosser. I'm the product line manager for Dell Projectors. This morning we want to take a couple minutes to answer some frequently asked questions from customers and also from our sales teams around the interactive projectors and mainly around connectivity, how they're set up and how they function. Uh, so before we get started, the projector that you see here is the S320WR. This projector is actually designed to be wall mounted above the viewing surface. But for demo purposes and for training purposes, we're just going to have this on the tabletop today. But I wanted to point that out for you is that the projector is typically designed to be wall mounted and it works best in that application. The second piece to it is this projector also has integrated wireless 802.11 BGNN. However, the interactive features for them to work properly, you really need a hardwired data connection and that's accomplished by USB. So we're bypassing the wireless features, showing wireless features today and just concentrating on the interactive features. So you'll notice that cabling is, is connected to the projector. So let that being said, let's go ahead and get started. The very first thing that you want to do after unboxing the projector and really while you're setting the projector up is to make sure that your stylus is charged. This is very easily accomplished by the included USB to mini USB cable that's included with the projector. So when you're right before you set up the projector, get the USB cable out of the package, plug the USB A port into your A port on your PC and the mini USB port into the bottom of your stylus. The pen typically takes about 10 to 15 minutes to charge, so while you're setting up the projector, connecting it up, powering up the projector, your pen can be charging. When you're done, the pen will be ready for use. So that being said, I've already went ahead and charged the pen, but we're going to let this sit here just for a second while I tell you about the rest of the projector. So the next step here is you want to connect the projector to your PC. Now there's a couple different ways to do that. You can use a standard analog VGA connection as you see here, or the projector also has HDMI. My notebook doesn't have HDMI in it, so we're going to use VGA for demo purposes today. But just be aware that both of those options are available. So after connecting your video connection, and then also power, make sure you obviously get power to the projector, uh, you're pretty much ready to use. So once the pen is charged up, you'll actually notice that there will be a red amber light here that indicates the pen's charging. And when there's the charge is beginning to complete, you'll get a blinking green light at the top of the pen. In this case, we're going to go ahead and unplug the pen and set up the projector. But you want to make sure that your pen's fully charged before you use. Um, to actually engage the interactive features on the projector, just simply unplug the pen from the mini USB cable. And then on the projector itself, you'll notice there's a mini USB port on the back side of the projector. That's where you want to plug this cable in. Again, this is your data connection and how you actually run the interactive features communicating between your PC, the wireless stylus, and the projector. So let's go ahead and do that now. Once you plug that projector in, if this is your first time, you'll get an indication on your screen, the bottom right hand corner of the screen, that'll let you know that the interactive driver is being installed. This should take about 10 seconds to 15 seconds, but make sure that you pay attention and notice that, that the application is being installed because it's necessary for the touch driver, uh, for the interactive pen to actually work correctly. Once that's done, you want to check your, auto, or your source selection. So in this case, we're using VGA. You can very easily accomplish this with the remote. Just go to input source, which is the very top uh, selection. Click enter, and then make sure that VGA is checked or whatever input source you're using, whether that be VGA, uh, HDMI, or VGA D, which is a secondary VGA input on here. Hit enter. You'll see a white screen while it's actually picking up the source, and then your desktop screen will be displayed. At this point, you're ready to engage the interactive features. So if this is your first time setting up the projector, you want to make sure that the interactive features are turned on. This feature is located under Advanced Setting under the Projector menu. So go to Advanced Settings, scroll over, and then you'll notice Interactive Settings. In this case, you can see the interactive feature default is on. You can obviously turn that off or on, but you always want to double check to make sure that that is on, otherwise the interactive system is not going to work correctly. In this case, it's on, so we're ready to go. So once that's completed, you'll notice on the screen, I'm actually off surface and controlling the cursor directly with the wireless stylus. At this point, you're ready to go. The interactive features are working, the touch sensitive feature is working for pen stylus applications, and you're ready to annotate on surface or up to 20 feet off surface with the wireless presenter. One word of caution if you're presenting off surface, the pen, although it works off surface, is really designed at that point as a wireless presenter. So it's very easy, as you can see, to manipulate objects, or manipulate objects on screen. However, if you want to annotate, you really want to be on surface. 
uh, for it to be for the for the application to be somewhat legible as you can see here. So I'll go ahead and change colors, and you can see that you can annotate directly on surface. If you're off surface, from a presenter standpoint, you really want to use this as a wireless presenter. It's a lot easier to engage icons uh, to start up programs as opposed to actually interact with them on surface. So just remember, off surface wireless presenter, on surface full annotation capabilities. Again, thank you for watching.